Now I've reviewed my share of all-in-one desktops over the years. I reviewed one where it was really good from Lenovo. I also reviewed one from HP on the Envy line uh, last year and I thought it was a really good one. And I wanted to see what HP would build upon this year in a follow-up with the HP Envy 34 all-in-one desktop. Well, I took delivery of it about a month ago and I've been using it ever since. What this brings to the table is a 34-inch 5K display. Now it's a widescreen display with an aspect ratio of 21 to nine. That's like you're gonna have two side-by-side -side windows or having like two monitors side-by-side. -side. That's really handy, especially if you are a content creator to which this is geared towards. It's got a Core i9-11900 processor and it's got the RTX 3080 GPU. Let's see if this comes together to make this the content creator's dream. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the HP Envy 34 all-in-one desktop PC. Coming up. And as we take a look at the specs, I want to let everybody know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit is on loan from HP. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, I was able to find it over at B&H Photo for the price of $23.99. Now, it's not the same as far as the specs of my review unit, which is fully decked out, but this is a very decent offering. And I don't think you need to go with a decked out one that I have. You might want to save a few bucks, and I'll tell you why later on in the performance review. Now, as far as the keyboard and mouse that is included in the box, there's no additional cost, that's always good. It's a pretty decent keyboard, I would say, a little bit shallow in terms of the key travel, but as a value add-on, I don't have any problem with it. Most people wanna use their own keyboard or mouse, but it's there, and I like the fact that you do get it. The mouse is wireless as well, and it's pretty comfortable to use. I have no complaints. Again, nice throw-in in the box. And I like the fact that they went with an external webcam, which is magnetic, and you can place it anywhere on the base. You could put it on the bottom, you could put it on the side, you could put it on the top. I like that versatility that this brings. Now, this is a 16 megapixel webcam, capable of shooting at least 1080p video, maybe even a little bit higher. I'm gonna show you an example very soon, later on in this video. Okay, let's check out the port selection. We're gonna start off on the back where you get your headphone microphone combo jack. You get two Thunderbolt 4 with USB-C 4 Type-C ports. You get USB-A, you get two super speed USB Type-A ports. You get an HDMI out port. You get your gigabit ethernet and you get your power port. That's where you plug in the power adapter. Now moving over to the base, you get a full size SD card reader. I actually like that location. You get another USB-C port and finally rounded out two more USB-A ports. All in all, I would say it's a pretty good port selection. And for those wondering, the power button is located below the display. I couldn't find it at first. You have to search for it. It's there and you can't miss it once you know where it is. Now, one of the best things about this all-in-one is its upgradability and how easy it is to do that. And HP does have a video on how to upgrade and install memory modules to the HP NV34. You could also swap out the SSD. I'll link it in the description below for those that want to see it, but it, it is super easy. All you need to do is remove the cover. It pops off. It seeks magnetic by the way and you have access to the memory modules you have access to the ssd i wish more manufacturers would follow suit this is a really great way for the user to upgrade now my review unit is fully decked out i have 128 gigabytes of ddr4 2400 ram and the good news is it's the rank 8 ram that means it's the faster ram as opposed to the rank 16 now as far as the ssd is concerned you have access to it as well my unit has two terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 SSD storage, and I gotta say, very fast reads and writes, as we've come to expect with Gen 4. All right, let's talk about what I think is the main feature of this all-in-one, which of course would be its display. It's a 5K display, it's 34 inches, 
There's a resolution of 5120 by 2160. And that is a 21 to 9 aspect ratio. It's a widescreen aspect ratio. It's an IPS display with an anti-reflective coating. And it also will get up to 500 nits according to HP. But I've actually gotten higher than that. I measured 507 nits, which is even better. And it's a creator's dream in terms of the display. It has really deep blacks with a 0.48, which is really good, lower the better. And it also has a really color accurate display coming in at 0.96 in terms of the Delta E score. Remember, anything below two means that this will be a color accurate display. This doesn't disappoint. And it's got some great coverage of the color gamut. You're looking at 100% sRGB. You're looking at 88% Adobe RGB, 90% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut and 80 percent ntsc so this is going to be a great choice if you are that content creator who does lightroom photoshop and of course color grading video editing and things of that nature and it's an absolutely gorgeous display great for consuming media watching netflix amazon and youtube has been great on this it's also a dolby vision display so watching high dynamic range content has been sensational on this really superb display now this is a 60 hertz display. There is no option for higher refresh rate and that's because this is really geared towards a content creator. Doing things such as Lightroom, Photoshop, video editing, color grading, you don't need the higher refresh rate. You need the higher pixel count. You need the better coverage of the color gamut and you wanna get it really color accurate. All things that this really checks the boxes on. And I love the fact that you can adjust the display up and down and back and forth so you can get the perfect viewing angle each and every time. I like that versatility that it gives the end user. So this is the camera that comes with the HP All-in-One, a 34-inch uh, All-in-One computer that's actually really impressive with a 5K display. I like the ability that you have with this camera to place it anywhere on the display around the edges. It's magnetic, it's a very strong connection. As far as the camera is concerned, what do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality? Now, one thing to note, there is a shutter switch, a physical shutter switch on the top of the camera. That'll give you more security and privacy when you need it. I like that. I think this is a good solution. I like what HP is doing with this, but I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, another great part about this all-in-one is the fact that the base has a Qi charger. It allows you to charge a smartphone or your earbuds if they do support wireless charging. Really nice, convenient feature that this offers. And I like the placement of it. It's really convenient. You don't have to worry about plugging anything in. Just place your smartphone onto the pad and it's ready to charge. That's great. Okay, let's talk performance. And my unit has the Core i9-11900 processor. It's an eight core processor, 16 threads. And it also has 128 gigabytes of the DDR4-2400 RAM. Again, that rank eight RAM, which is faster, which is good to see. It also has two terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 SSD storage, as I mentioned. So as you can see from the numbers, this is gonna be excellent for everyday use. Microsoft Office, email, web browsing all worked well. Video editing worked well. It's great for that, especially with this beautiful 5K display that it has. As you can see, it will be really good for the content creator. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, you're gonna notice some thermal throttling when you are running this under heavy load. When you're really pushing it with AAA titles, you will notice it throttle. So this is not the ideal gaming system. And again, it's not geared towards that, it's geared towards a content creator, but you can play the occasional game here and there if you lower the settings. Now, the fact of the matter is this has the RTX 3080 laptop GPU. It's not gonna have a desktop class performance. So you're gonna have to compare this to laptop performance and we can expect nothing less, but it actually worked pretty well but it's not overwhelming in terms of the numbers as you see here. But again, definitely playable if you lower some of the settings, you will get playable frame rates. Now you can add an external GPU because this does have two Thunderbolt 4 ports that will allow you to do that. And for those wondering, yes, you will notice thermal throttling with this all-in-one and it has to do a lot with the type of internals that it has, the very thin nature and design of this all-in-one, which results in thermal throttling when it is put under maximum or heavy load, it will throttle down in order for it not to overheat. So you can expect thermal throttling when you are gaming, when you are really pushing this to the limit. So not to be surprised by that. Now, I did notice the fans kick in under heavy load. When you're running this under performance mode, you will notice them not overly loud, but something to be aware of, not too distracting, so that's pretty good. Now, when it comes to the speakers, 
absolutely amazing speakers on this HP all-in-one. I got to say, really good bass, good mids, gets loud, really full, rich sound. You're not going to be disappointed. This is an excellent media consumption device, and the speakers certainly enhance that experience. Good job on that front, HP. All right, people, let's bring it all home. What do I think about this HP NV34 all-in-one desktop PC? A uh, lot to like here, people. It is really, really something to look at, especially that gorgeous 5K display, the modern and sleek design. I absolutely love it. I like the good port selection that it has. I love, love, love the fact that the RAM and SSD are so easily user accessible. Just remove that latch in the back and you have access to upgrade the RAM and SSD. I think more manufacturers should follow suit. I like the good laptop class performance. It'll be great for everyday tasks like Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, color grading, Photoshop, Lightroom, video editing. This is made for that content creator and the performance will match that. 16 megapixel IR webcam is great. I love the video quality. I thought the sound was very good in terms of the audio. And of course, that outstanding audio coming from the speakers, really good job in that regard. Love the fact that they include a Qi wireless charger on the base. That's a really nice, handy, convenient feature to have. And I also like the fact that you can get this with up to an RTX 3080 graphics, although it is laptop class, not desktop class performance, so keep that in mind. Not so great is the fact that it will thermal throttle under heavy load, especially with this thin design. And as it ramps up and gets hot, it will throttle down. It just makes sense. And of course, the fans will kick in under heavy load, although not too noisy, not too loud. So I thought it was good in that regard. Now, another thing I would have liked to have seen was an HDMI import for use as a second monitor. You cannot use this as a second monitor. Would have been a great feature to include. And it's also hard to find right now, although I did speak to HP and they said more stock is coming in soon so check the link in the description below for the latest pricing and availability and speaking of pricing it can get expensive especially fully decked out as my review unit is here today but all in all i think hp has done a great job on this really sleek and modern looking all-in-one and it's highly recommended especially if you are a content creator that needs it to do color grading lightroom photoshop and all those things i think it will fit the bill especially with that gorgeous 5k display so what do you think about the hp nv 34 all-in-one desktop pc absolutely gorgeous 5k display 21 to 9 aspect ratio widescreen. You can have two side-by-side -side windows. It's like having two side-by-side -side monitors. I absolutely love that. It makes you more productive. It'll help you multitask, especially if you're a content creator that this is geared towards. Color grading, Photoshop, Lightroom, video editing, and Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve have all worked well on this. Now, keep in mind, this is the Core i9 processor. It's the Core i9 11900 processor, 8 cores, 16 threads, and it also has the RTX 3080 GPU, which is a laptop version, not the desktop class performance. So keep that in mind, but it is good nonetheless. This is not a gaming machine. I showed you the numbers. You can play certain titles if you lower the settings to get better playable frame rates, but it will thermal throttle under heavy load. That is just due to the nature of that thin and sleek design. And I really do like the way this looks, especially with that 5K display, very thin bezels, absolutely gorgeous. It gets bright. I measured 507 nits. It's got an anti-reflective coating, so you don't see too much glare or reflections. It's also a color accurate display and it covers the color gamut very well. So if you are a content creator, this is one you're gonna to wanna to look at, especially for color grading, video editing, and Photoshop and the like. I think you get my drift. Now, as far as the availability, I spoke to HP. They will be getting more in stock. You, this starts at around $2,300 or so. My review unit fully decked out. I'm not even sure of the price. It's got 128 gigabytes of RAM two terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 storage, and it's very fast, as you saw from the numbers. So this is fully decked out, and I'm sure it's a premium in terms of the price. But I'll give you more information as it becomes available and as HP restocks it. Again, I spoke to my rep at HP, and they said more are coming. So if you're interested in this, if you are a content creator, you want to have a great multimedia experience, that display is great, the speakers are great on this, very full and rich good bass, good mids. I think the audio experience is really, really good on this. So this is one you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. So what do you think about the HP NV34? Maybe you wanna look at the iMac. This has a lot of things that the iMac doesn't have. 
For instance, it has accessible RAM and SSD that the user can upgrade down the road, something you can't do on the iMac. And I think that is a very important distinction that shouldn't be uh, ignored. I think it should be emphasized, actually. And there are a lot of other things, especially if you're liking Windows 11, this is going to be great. If you're in the Windows camp, you want to use Premiere Pro. I think this is a really good uh, alternative to the iMac. And especially if you're not in the Apple camp and you want Windows, this will fit the bill. Again, I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.